Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When your floor finishing needs call for more heavy duty sanding, we offer the American Sanders Easy 8 Drum Sander. This sander is the perfect choice for sanding old, damaged, or distressed hardwood flooring. It's also ideal for aggressive sanding in large rooms. Along with the drum sander, you'll want to use the American Sanders 7 inch floor edger to sand along walls, corners, or edges that the drum sander won't reach. Check out the 7 inch floor edger video to learn more about its use and operation. Now, before you get started, we recommend that you wear protective eyewear, safety shoes, work gloves, and protective clothing. While sanding, we also recommend using a respirator and hearing protection. Prepare your work area by countersinking any nails in the flooring, taping over electrical outlets, and covering doorways and windows with plastic. Be sure to cover all air vents in the room, including intake and output vents. The drum sander uses a sandpaper sleeve to sand the floors. Before you install or replace the worn sandpaper, always be sure the machine is turned off and disconnected from the power outlet. Never leave the machine unattended without unplugging it. Now, install the sandpaper. Lift the drum cover and place the sleeve onto the drum. Once you have the sandpaper in place, close the drum cover. Properly operating a drum sander takes a little skill in getting used to, so if you're new to using one of these, we recommend practicing first on a piece of plywood. To operate the sander, make sure the drum is in the up position and plug the sander into a wall outlet. Make sure to position the power cord safely out of the way of the machine. Then turn the sander on. When starting your sanding pass, you always sand in the direction of the grain of the wood. Start moving the sander forward while gently lowering the drum to the floor. As you near the end of your sanding pass, it's important to raise the drum before you come to a stop. At the end of your pass, start backwards down the same path. You'll lower the drum as you start moving and raise it again before you stop. Moving up and back is considered one sanding pass. Move over about four inches and start your next pass. Always make sure you're overlapping each pass and never stop the drum sander while the drum is still in contact with the floor. Stopping while the drum is on the floor will leave a drum mark or impression in your floor where the sander removed excess wood. Throughout your sanding, make sure to empty the dust bag regularly. This is very important. A good rule of thumb is to empty it when it's about a third full. Slip off the bag and dust pipe and empty the bag by opening the zipper. On rare occasions, dust generated from sanding wood floors may contain certain floor coatings that can pose a fire hazard inside the bag. So never leave the sander unattended without emptying the dust bag first. Depending on the flooring, expect a piece of sandpaper to cover anywhere from 100 to 400 square feet before needing to be replaced. As you complete your sanding, lift the drum from the floor before coming to a stop and turn the machine off. Unplug the machine and empty the dust bag completely. Always remove the dust bag from the machine at the end of the workday, placing the bag outside of the work area. The drum sander disassembles for easy transport. First, make sure all power is disconnected from the machine, both the main plug to the wall outlet and also the cord that attaches the handle to the motor. Remove the dust bag. The handle is easily removed by disconnecting the drum lowering bar and undoing the latch at the handle base. There are two lifting points to raise the machine base, one in the front and one in the rear. Prior to returning the tool back to the rental center, clean all debris from the machine and empty the dust bag to avoid cleaning fees. Properly secure the sander in your vehicle to avoid injury or damage to the sander. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rentals to learn more about the best tools for your next project.